Welcome to the Stereopsis Stereoacuity Vision Screening Tutorial. In this short video, we will review the purpose for this type of screening, the tools used, and how it is implemented with children of various age groups. When the brain is able to blend the separate images from each eye into one image, the child can perceive three-dimensional space and is said to have stereopsis, or binocular vision. The purpose of the screening is to determine if the eyes are working together. Vision screening tools for stereopsis are a random dot E or the butterfly test, which is a card with random dot patterns and an image in one of those patterns. When the child views the image with polarized glasses, they will see a three-dimensional image of a letter E or a butterfly. Set two chairs across from each other. This can be done with or without a table. The child must be close enough to reach the test with their hand. Hold the test from the corners of the plate or from the book without touching the actual test. Before screening, check for glare on the plates as that will impact the child's ability to see the image. The child will put on polarized glasses. If a child wears glasses, have them place the polarized glasses over their own glasses. Ask the child to identify what they see while wearing the glasses. If using the butterfly test, encourage the child to reach out and touch the wings of the butterfly. If using a random dot E test, ask the child to outline the letter on the card. The child must be able to identify the object on the card to pass. If they cannot see it, have them identify the L or R at the bottom of the test card. A child who cannot identify any of the items should be referred to an eye care professional. Viewing our world in 3D and being able to discern objects at different depths is important. Conducting stereopsis screenings for children ensures that they are able to do so.